Hi everyone, it's Dale coming to you again from Central Florida. I'm actually standing on the property of once was a very large Holstein dairy. I was here for many decades. It sold about within the last year and they've changed it into a, uh, a sod uh, growing area for the development that's around here. Change. Change is ever happening even here out in the uh, country, which has been relatively untouched for a very, very long time. We see that happening everywhere. As a matter of fact, uh, I had made a video prior to this that I was going to use today. We had poured a, a pad, a concrete pad at our home, and I was going to speak to a strong foundation, how important that is as we grow and build our lives on it and use that in relationship to where you may be within Exodus or Leviticus, some of the readings within uh, the New Testament that you're doing as well. But we are, wherever you are in your journey, the important part is, I wanted to just stop and say, it, but is it, is it getting to the heart? Is it penetrating to the place to where you are saying, I get it, and these are areas that I think that I can continue to dive into to try to understand and grow? The Old Testament is full of great stories. As a matter of fact, they may be questions of things that are occurring that you are uncertain of. But if you're not thinking about it and diving into it in some respect, then it's really hard to grow. It just becomes a story. So even though this may be a kind of a first splash for many of you, I really encourage you, read, um, and stop and think about it, but mostly pray. Say, God, before I read this portion of the, of the word, please help me understand it. Even though I may not fully inc incorporate all of the details here, help me to open my mind and heart to what this means. Because as I've said before, you will see this unfolding of a continuous cycle of stories that will build toward the need of a redeemer or a savior. And ultimately that will unfold as you get into the prophets and then especially as you're reading through the New Testament. There's a sh tremendous connection that occurs over scriptures that were written over thousands of years that shows a true intent of what the messages are in that. You'll continue to have these sub-discoveries along the way, but I wanna encourage you, pray, read, meditate a little bit, take the time, continue to practice, same time every day as much as you can, Talk about it around the dinner table with your spouse or friends or family, especially your children if you have those, or grandchildren. Allow this to be a part of your daily life. As a matter of fact, even get involved with another group of believers through a church or an organization. I strongly believe that influence helps to build not just community, but understanding. So today, I'm doing this to encourage you. Continue to read or listen, whatever it is, the mechanism to help speak to you the best. Pray that God opens your mind and heart and allows to speak to you and allow the amazing Bible journey to continue to stoke your desire to know God. Uh, continue to use the website, Amazing Journey, excuse me, AmazingBibleJourney.com. Again, AmazingBibleJourney.com. I continue to stuff it full of resources for you. I would really appreciate you sharing this with your friends, your family. It's a toolkit. Encourage them to read, um, hold them accountable, read together, whatever it takes so that we are continuing to grow in knowledge of what scriptures say, where is our place in the middle of this, and what can we do to continue to be extensions of Jesus in this world. Wow, that's awesome. So thank you so much. I want you to know I love you and care for everyone that's here, even though some I may not have spoken to in a very long time, if ever, but continue to stay on this journey. God will reward you, and you will be a factor to be dealt with in this world. Thank you so much. Take care. Till the next time.